Andrea TV, how to edit pictures on computer. Now that doesn't sound too correct. That's not how you would speak, but I'm going to show you why I chose this. Because I don't know where you're going to start watching me, um, watching what I do, and you may skip around. So I go into keywordtool.io on just about every video I make, every page I post or blog post I make, keywordtool.io. What am I about to say? How can it reach the most people? I'm going to type in the main key points of what I'm posting about and see what people are searching for exactly. So I put in how to edit pictures. What came up first? How to edit pictures in Photoshop. I'm not talking about Photoshop. How to edit pictures on computer. Second most popular. That's what I'm doing. And I'm making a YouTube video showing you this. That's why I have highlighted YouTube. If I was making this a blog post for my blog or website, I would use that same thing, how to edit pictures, but I would search the volume for Google. Under Google, their top search out of the 386 results was how to edit pictures on Mac, then iPhone, then, yeah, computer's nowhere near it, but this is a video on YouTube. I'll also be making it a page on the blog, but I will be altering it for the best results on Google. If you get what I'm saying, each platform has its own little vibe, its own little community, its own terms. And you're going to have to alter those to get the best results. You can leave it the same across everywhere, but it won't get the best results. So now I'm going to edit the picture. If I didn't talk too much. Okay, where are we? Did I pull up paint.net? Paint.net, paint.net. Okay, I'll just click on the picture. It's still saved up here. And by default, it brings me the Windows Photo Viewer, but I click on my paint.net option and it pulls up paint.net. Now for the background cover, it has to be a certain size and I should have written it down to save time, but it won't take that long. Let's go back to the channel. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we're on Creator Studio, View Channel, Add Channel Art. And what is the size it recommends? That is 2560 by 1440. So I don't know if that little picture is going to edit that big. We'll see. Let's click on resize and we're going to change it by pixels. So horizontal is the first number. That first number was 2560. Ooh, the bottom was 1440, but 1433 is very close. And we're going to click OK. Let's see, it may be very blurry. I may change this later. But then after it expands it to those dimensions that YouTube recommends, I'm going to click Save As. And let's see. Du, 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 du. I'm going to try to save it as PNG. Hopefully it'll be a little better. Save it to the desktop. I like the desktop. And now it is a saved picture on my desktop. Okay. Now that it's saved. Well, I'll do that in the next video. Okay, because yeah, I said I was going to keep it short. We're at three minutes. So the next video, you saw how to edit. You can also change it by, um, what was the other option? Other than pixels, you could also save it. Well, you can go through it, and I'll be going through it with you also. So I'm coming back for the next video to show you how to upload the background on your YouTube channel. But that is a way you edit pictures on your computer. Thank you for watching. Team Miles. You can do this. Millionaire.